The Marriott hosted the first Guam is Good Cancer Symposium held this past Sunday on Tumon Bay. It was a forum organized by the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation, bringing together a variety of speakers covering a litany of issues for patients, family members, healthcare practitioners, and nonprofit organizations. Learned experts from medical, legal, and social work fields spoke right alongside support groups, cosmetologists, artists, beauticians, fitness instructors, and parents about several ways to cope with cancer. Delivering the keynote was Dr. Brad Zeback from the University of Michigan, himself a cancer survivor, who shared the story of his struggle and understanding and what having gone through the process taught him. Another metaphor I love is the, the phoenix, the phoenix bird, the mythical bird that rises out of the ashes of destruction. We've gone through that destruction, we've gone through that emotional devastation of being told that we have cancer. But there is a, a metamorphosis, there is a, a change that can occur that can be quite beautiful. One of the more engaging sessions was a talk on estate planning and the importance of establishing a structure for your assets as a means of avoiding having to make very difficult decisions under the added duress of a loved one dealing with cancer or when a patient may not be able to make such decisions on their own. A guardianship is a, uh, is a setup that occurs when you cannot determine what to do with your own assets and you are still alive or you cannot make decisions about your own person, your health care, your medical needs, your uh, housing, your food matters, your general personal care. So um, in that event, someone would need on your behalf to go to court to obtain uh, a court order which states that someone has been appointed as the guardian of either your estate which has all of your assets, or has been appointed guardian of your person to take care and make sure that your personal needs have been addressed. Jenny Leon Guerrero Garrett, the mother of the late Natasha Leon Guerrero, recalled her daughter's touching courage and unbreakable character even while undergoing treatment. I celebrated every day. My wish for my daughter, my goal was, um, is that every day would be a perfect day. That was my wish for her. So every day I tried very hard to make every day be a perfect day. And every night when she went to sleep, because she slept right beside me, I would ask her, how was today? And I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, it was a perfect day. Several of the talks dealt with therapy techniques such as finger painting and yoga and hands-on demonstrations of wig weaving. I should do strength training or resistance training two to three times a week. Attendees left the conference armed with two incredibly powerful weapons to use against the dreaded disease, information and community. We started with quality, talking about quality of life. Some of you have been painting, some of you have been flexing your bodies, some of you have been shedding tears, some of you have been thinking deeply. This program is brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.